Welcome back everybody. Um, so there's been some updates that have been worked on um, by the team and I just wanted to show them off a little bit. So one of them is Falcon Stadium. Um, Zevin, uh, one of the big contributors, um, has been working on some stadiums. I know Flame of Hope did a lot of work on stadiums as well. These guys combined are like a juggernaut, uh, which is just awesome because they're both very talented and we see that with, um, you know, with the finished level of detail that we get. Um, so something else too that Flame of Hope was working on that I wanted to share and just kind of point out. Um, he spent some time and he put together some matte helmets. Um, if we take a look at them here, you can see they just, especially with the lighting in this game, I mean the helmets just look, they look beautiful. Um, so a big thanks to Flame of Hope for putting together some matte helmets um, for some of the teams and they're going to be in the 1-6 one six, one six build as well. Um, so just really cool, really awesome. Um, and I think it's the details like this that really give the game that much more personality. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that was a really sweet play. But yeah, the amount of work that everyone's put together, um, and just how talented everybody is. Let's take a look at this stadium a little bit more. Um, this Zevin put this together, um, and just taking a look around at this is just, this is awesome, right? Who would have thought that 2K5, the game that we've been playing for so many years, just, just having roster updates now, you know, because of some em emulator developers um, putting together some plugins, we now have this, um, we're now able to actually refresh the game, which is just wild. Um, and again, I'm so happy, I couldn't be happier to have the group of people that I have working uh, with me on this project because everybody has their own unique um, talents and skills and just having everybody working together on this project like this in the community, it's, it's really an exciting time for this community. Um, I will say that and um, that was a really amazing thing. By the way, we should take a look at that from the receiver's perspective in a minute. But um, but yeah, it's an exciting time to be in the uh, to be a 2K5 community um, person because there's so much stuff going on. And um, keep an eye out because we will have 1.6 um, coming out at some point this year, uh, which will include a lot of work. Um, big thanks to Kudu and Maddie. Everyone else has been participating. I know today you actually recently uh, was working on a way, and he found a way to get the retail mode working for, I think, RetroArch on the Xbox Series X and S. Uh, that, I'll put a link in the description for his video tutorial, so that'll help some of the console folks out there that want to play this on their on their new consoles. Um, so again, like I said, it's a really exciting time to be a, uh, for this community and to be a 2K5 um, player, so lots of work, lots more stuff coming, and um, again, I can't I can't say thank you enough to everybody on the team who has been helping and continues to help. And um, you know, I'm excited to see what um, <clears throat> what else we're able to do with this uh, as we move forward. So have fun playing 2K5, everybody. Uh, be on the lookout for some more updates and stuff coming, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.